back to another episode of Last Day Auto Survival Dream Roots. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so for everyone out there, it's having an absolutely incredible day on the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me just say, at the very least, I know that we're about to have a pretty good day with some incredible shenanigans coming, you lads and lassies way. Good news! The sewer location has respawned, and you already know that that means we're getting ourselves into some shenanigans down there as our quest to build the motorboat. It does continue, but star, there's already a respawn timer up there. Yes, I'm aware that is because literally as soon as this thing respawns every day, I wake up at like freaking four in the morning. I set an alarm. I wake up just so I can go and get the respawn timer going ASAP so we can build our motorboat absolutely ASAP. Sleepy darned, we're building this thing as soon as possible. So Make sure that you all are subscribed with that notification bell hit for all these season 13 shenanigans coming our way. We are still only scratching the surface of how things are going and not to mention, I am excited to announce we have also knocked out a bit of a level up because the other day we did have some deliveries and whatnot and we are now up to level 11, which now means we can do three of each kind of crate for each kind of delivery. <gasps> Yes, that is right. We're also very close to yet another crane key coming our way too. And why don't we go and actually put all those deliveries together before we dive our way down into the sewers for a set of shenanigans. Here we should be able to get a nice toolbox delivery ready and ready to go, which is pretty good because the toolbox deliveries give us uh, quite a lot of stuff. So beep, bop, a boop. Tic-tac-toe, that's three in a row, baby. Let's get this thing rolling and show off exactly what I am talking about. Bada boom, we got three of those, but now check it out. We, at level 11, which we have just reached, now have the ability to put in three of these crates. And as much as it pains me to do this, as much as it hurts my soul and my wallet, <laughs> you know, I'm always willing to risk it for the biscuit when it comes to last day on Earth. And that's exactly what we are doing. So y'all can get the very best content imaginable because these deliveries will help us build the motorboat. And uh, well, that is where we're going to unlock a whole ton of new shenanigans to be getting into so let's go and get this thing going hopefully we'll get a few things along the way Woohoo! that do exactly that baby and give us some extra points in terms of the reputation maybe we should have one more opportunity here okay no we just had one decision that time but that's 64 points are coming our way and if i'm not mistaken how, what did that get us up to we're already up to 59 percent of the way there so there's definitely gonna be another crane key coming our way but we should also be able to acquire some of that reputation via none other than a sewer event that's right baby and hopefully luck is on our side too because i need some pumps and if luck is on your side i've heard that you can get as much as three pumps for each of these runs uh yes please i would very much so enjoy that and hello mermaid hello merman where's barnacle boy Please go back. Don't return until you have him. Actually, don't return at all. Merman is a terrifying, terrifying being. Like, look at that freaking face over there, dude. And he poisons you if he hits you. Not the very swiggity swag of him, but such is life. Hopefully, during our sewer run today, too, we can have a little bit of good... Oh, no sumo wrestling for you today. Hopefully, we can have a little bit of good luck on our side today, too. Like I said, get some of those water pumps. But also, hopefully, good luck in the form of going up some of these uh, new ladders. Yeet! Oh, no, another merman. Did not expect to see you here already. Okay, okay, hold up. We might need to suffer for a little bit of poisoning over here. That's okay. See you later to those two alligators. And uh, I, just, I suppose I'll go ahead and survive through the pain and suffering of uh, being poisoned. But hopefully we have luck on our side a little bit also in the form of, let's make sure that our shotgun rain's ready to go because there's probably gonna be, oh, just one enemy. Well, okay, this is gonna be a little bit chill. Why don't we just go and piss old Grizzle, yeah? Hey, dear Doom. But hopefully we'll be able to explore some of these new ladder sections because I believe every one of these ladders has a distinct area that it does lead to. And I ultimately do want to see what, like, the dungeons, kind of, that these things do ultimately lead to. Because we've only been through a few of them thus far. So there's definitely more options for us to go. We've been in that one before. Also, we're about to be getting into some major shenanigans via attacking this fellow. So let's make sure that we have our, uh, him, Sawblade Mace ready to go. And via the power of yeet, let's yeet him once and then Sawblade him to his doom. You love to see it. You also do love to see these side rooms. The first one we got into did not appear to have anything, but that's okay. Why don't we bring out our machete? If there is a lot of enemies, they say hello to Shotgun Rain. And then we'll go ahead and machete them to their doom after that. But it does not appear that these side rooms... Okay, I do see. We do have a chest, as y'all can probably see. Right over there, that little pile of stuff that appears like it is going to have 
well, stuff inside of it. So good news, good news, good news, everybody. In the words of Hubert Farnsworth. Is Hubert his name? I don't know, but Dr. Farnsworth. And I definitely hear some nasty stuff here. Okay, it does appear that this should be a pretty nice situation where you can just go ahead and melee our way out of an Ajiba Liba. I love this. I hate that this bathroom has nothing in it, but I do love the machete that we are rocking today, man. This thing is truly a joy to utilize. Let's go and get through this uh, stupid uh, goop. Let's make sure to heal up as it continues damaging us because it is pretty lethal. And it does appear that that ladder is going to be the one we are going to be able to go to. There are also going to be some people coming our way. So come one, come all. What are we Go to utilize the ability of our machete boop, as well to go ahead and slow down the attack speed of these crawlers and then they just finish them the old fashioned way via slicing their heads off. Honestly, I do kind of wish that we got a little bit lucky and the healer spawned it and gave us that one special ability. If you guys don't know, there's a heal like the healer that shows up at your base does have the possibility of giving you an awesome boost that literally increases your melee damage by 20%. That turns this machete into a 45 damage weapon, which is insane. Unfortunately, right now it is a 38. A very awkward number because, uh, well, some of these enemies with 80 health, as you will see, if we don't get a critical, they end up with, they require a third hit. With the four health, that guy got critical, so never mind. But with the four health that they have left over, they do require an extra hit, which does make it a little bit annoying. Also, I gotta say, it is like eerily quiet down here in the sewers. There you go. Okay, there's the music. I was about to say, like, you could hear, you could hear all, hear all the stuff just dripping and drapping and uh, giving me a little bit of a spooky vibes. But all right, beautiful. We got that thing popped open. Let's go and have the shotgun rain ready to go if there's a big room. Yeah, there's a big room. Let's shotgun rain these schmucks. Oh no, did not mean to shock and rain you. I was trying to machete the rest of them, but eh, so be it. Shock and rain is like, no, today we are going to finish the job, uh, baby. But whoo, Nellis, speaking of finishing the job, I can't wait to finish the job on that motorboat and seeing all the beautiful things that it does unlock. The new watchtower we can go to, the new sand quarry location, and ultimately the titanium caves. And now that we've had a lot more time to truly experience everything that season 13 does have to offer, at least a portion of it, there's still more for us to do experience. I love to hear from y'all in that comment section uh, down below what has been your favorite part of season 13 thus far let me know let me know i hear some weird noises coming that way dude does anyone else hear that what is that noise i don't this might be a new way i've never heard that nasty noise i'm a little bit scared of kaleshnikov come out to play this is uh actually no, i'll just bring out our full durability pistol drizzle but all right well if y'all are hype to see what incarnation is we're gonna be on the other side of this. And also, if y'all are hyped for season 13, and hopefully it's been going well for y'all, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get some hype going. What is this thing? Hello, Cocoon. How are you doing? It's just, it's just sitting. Oh, it's farting. It's farting. It's just farting there menacingly. Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna have to take that thing out from a distance, or maybe if we had a gas mask, we could sneak by it. So it appears, this is definitely strange, but we've, we've, we've encountered a cocoon. Yeah, this is this is definitely new. I got my wish. We got a new area up here in the north. Uh, why don't we go and use the VSS? Take that thing out from a truly safe distance. That thing's got like a lot of armor to go with it too. Also, does this door open or is this one locked? Uh, locked from the other side. So we're gonna have to make our way over there eventually. Let's go and take down this cocoon because it does look like it is protecting something on the other side of it. So see you later, cocoon. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, there's no like a revenant farts. No breakfast burrito shenanigans going on here. Nope. I do hear more of the bloop, though. Hmm. A little bit terrifying, I tell you, but as such is life. Oh, hello, bloodthirsty pest! That's a new one! Nope! My blood is not for sale, kind sir. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was visiting the freaking vampire emporium. What are these new zombies? Bloodthirsty pests? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Boop! Oh, shotgun rain. Did not finish the job over there. Why don't we bring out the pistol drizzle for our backup weapon instead of the VSS? Because if the shotgun does 80 damage, the pistol does the 20 damage that we need to clean it up. That door is unfortunately stuck. Same with that one. So, ay caramba. I think I know where we got to go. And hello, what is over here? We got uh, a sick cruncher. What are all these new zombies we're coming across, dude? And also, for the sake of science, will you attack me? How painful is that going to be? Okay, so it just appears to be kind of like a cooler. Uh, okay, and I, that, that, that was for science. I let him hit me for science over there. Uh interesting so we are coming across some new zombies down here in these depths and hello that's a lot of new zombies shotgun rain that's a lot of new zombies in feeling the pain of shotgun rain for the very first time are they protecting a chest over in here they were Woo! let's go can i please find like a pump in here i need i'm having a pump shortage i would like some pumps my pumps my pumps my pumps check them out can i please have these pumps 
I'm not getting any pumps. Okay, there's a room over here that does appear like it will lead us to the other side of the cocoon. Question is, how many zombies will it be? Just kidding, it's the bathroom. It will not lead us to the other side of cocoon. So we do need to go and take that thing down. But that's really cool. This is the first time I've encountered this kind of like subsection of the sewer via ladder. And I mean, new enemies are always a cool thing personally, I think, to encounter. And hello, cocoon number two. Let's bring VSS back out to play so I can dispatch of you from safe distance. And I'm definitely going to be bringing a gas mask with me from now on on the off chance we come across things like this. Because, I mean, we could also potentially just heal our way past the cocoons. But you got to be extra careful. If you die in one of these, like, sections that you got to climb the ladder to, the ladder collapses after you. You can only visit this section once. So if you die here, your stuff will be lost forever. Very, very dangerous is not the recommended hello and uh, this is a terrifying little room is something nasty about to crawl out okay i'm clutching my ak real nice and close right now i hear a lot of zombies too am i gonna be swarmed what's going on hello wakey wakey okay we just got some of this fellow over here can i shotgun rain you will i get the people behind Boop. oh no he was still crawling dang it well that's annoying oh my god calm down what are you doing with your arm is that allowed on YouTube? Okay, good. He disappeared. He disappeared. Whew. Oh, mama mia. We got another one. Here we go again. Mama. Shotgun range just missed you. Just kidding. It didn't miss. It hit exactly how it should have. I am disappointed. Their body parts didn't go flying, but such is life. They don't always fly everywhere when they should. Hello. We got some goodies over here. We'll go in and collect those. And why don't we go back? Uh... We'll bring out the machete. We'll clean things out machete style if things get out of hand over here. I'm still hearing those weird noises, so I think there's going to be another little... Uh, we're going to have another cocoon coming our way or something, right? Is there another cocoon? Suspicious long hallway. My favorite. Uh, <laughs> man, this is, the first, this is the first time I've ever been in this kind of, like, version of the sewer, so I'm just trying to be very, very, very cautious here. Okay. I do see what appears to be an enemy down the way. What kind of enemy is that? He appears to be protecting something. Hello, sick cruncher! I thought you'd be a little bit more menacing. Uh, we do have a little... Uh, oh, I'm gonna go and equip that because I do see... Actually, eh, just equip the machete. Why not? Clean these things up because someone's... Yeah, they're definitely gonna be coming out of there. Like, come on! Come on! What kind of zombie ain't gonna be crawling outside of the vents? Uh, that's not any zombie worth his... Uh, worth his... Worth... Worth himself. There you go. Taken care of. Now there is goop room number three. Hello! Okay, that's not just a goop room. We got the parasites. I don't know how powerful these things are and for the sake of science. Not really trying to find out. Let's take them out the old-fashioned way. Why are there parasites surrounding this thing? It does appear to be protecting some kind of a chest. Is that going to be a good chest? I don't know. Time to find out. Pistol drizzle. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We got to take that thing out from like a distance, dude. Ay, caramba. Okay, how, how close do I have to get here to shoot at it? Okay, this appears to be a safe distance. Let's bring that VSS back out to play. It'll probably run out of durability here in a second. That's all good, though. We got to clean this thing up, but I just do not want to get hit by its farts. Because those things, I mean, they're definitely not silent, but they're 1,000% deadly. All right, beautiful. That was taken care of. We'll bring out the pistol drizzle here to finish the job. See you later. And that thing's been taken care of, and we do have a few parasites running up on us. There better be some really good loot inside of this room, dude. Like, that's a fancy-looking box I'm opening. Is it a box with a pump inside of it? Eh? No, it is not. It does have some more glass and stuff, which again, is always good. It's good. It's good. But it could be better, so hopefully this pump, not this pump, but this box over here will grant us some of that luck that I do desire. The first of three boxes of the sewer will contain... Let's go, baby! You don't understand how ridiculously bad my luck's been with the pump. Can we get some hype? Woo! Please, smash that like button or just do something to express your hypitude. Something you don't understand how beautiful of a sight for these eyes that is man You don't understand how much of a pump struggle we have been having because ultimately I think the pumps are going to be the biggest bottleneck for us when it comes to building None other than the motorboat, but all right, we have everything. I definitely picked up the pump Okay, just gotta be sure if I left that thing behind I would cry many tears and I'm telling you right now There would not be tears of joy, but that is nice and taken care of and speaking of nice things that y'all should definitely take care of y'all should 
definitely go on and take care of uh go on that link in the description and the pinned comment to go to twitch.tv slash starslip where we will be doing our live stream every single friday at 6 p.m eastern time with last day on earth and like with all last on earth live streams y'all can get y'all can get free stuff every 30 minutes to watch the stream all you gotta do is press on that twitch button over there in last day on earth connect your twitch account to last day on earth don't have a twitch account make one and while you're at it go ahead and us with that follow too so you should be notified when we do go live but also if you want to know exactly what time that we do go live you can also go to twitch.tv slash star slash schedule link also in the description and in the pinned comment that will go ahead and actually take y'all to a page that will tell you exactly what time that the stream does start in your own local time which is incredibly handy because there's like 24 time zones across the bloody world so it's an awesome way of being prepared for that so make sure y'all go ahead and do that as well and remember we are live at the same time every single week on friday 6 p.m eastern time and uh well this friday just so happens to be new year's so happy new year's everybody hopefully i know the 2020s had a lot of stuff going on but hopefully there's still been able for all of y'all out there to be some good stuff along the way and hopefully 2021 is an absolutely killer and stellar year for the all of y'all by the time you're watching this there's a good chance that it might already be 2021 especially because of time zones actually but uh, there's a good chance it might be 2021 in which case a hey, happy 2021 if not though happy new years are coming up soon to a uh calendar near you and let's just go ahead and collect those things over there we do have one more little sewer area here to clean out and that is about the halfway point of the sewer and hello how is everybody doing let's go and take you out i love this machete dude the power of the critical is real and if we i, I just wish there was some way for it to do two more damage man that's all that i want okay i actually want a lot of things but that's one of the things that i want and all right we've got another ladder over here to climb up you know what that means to loo let's make our way up here also if this is the generator version of the event dude or the generator version of the sewer uh bro i've cleared out some generators back at base so hopefully we do not get screwed over again but it does not appear like we've come across that version of the event we have come across a different one that requires opening of terminals so we will be going this way let's have the shotgun raid ready to go because you already know there could be shenanigans awaiting shenanigans are afoot Yeet! finish the fast water baby the other two they knew to take a hint and they suffered from some critical damage to finish the job let's go and pop these things open and continue clearing out these rooms our hat is on the brink of destruction luckily i did bring a backup because i knew that my hat was in a bit of a poopier condition uh, than the rest of the things so we are prepared for that shock and rain's ready to go hello 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 it's this version of the event oh how you doing there lurker oh you're just lurking well 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 let me just say what a shame you're gonna be dying via the magic of the turret but there's a room coming up that will not be as magical. Shock and rape. All right, let's go take out the fast router over there. Uh, let's hit the floater bloater with our machete special ability. Let us make him attack a little bit slower and beautiful. He is taken care of. Let's make sure that the shotgun range power does regenerate, which with each and every room that we do try and clear, because that is where this shotgun ability is so useful exactly for clearing out large amounts of enemies in one fell swoop, or at least doing a lot of damage to them. Uh, we only got two enemies over here. We're going to take them out. I was going to just continue doing a little bit of that, and this fast drops also will die, and hello, big one. How are you doing over here? Ooh, I'm not going to lie. You know what I might do? I kind of want to try out a different strategy with taking down this big one. Okay, we're gonna wait to activate this thing until there's like one doorway left and y'all are gonna see why We're gonna try to go into there while the turrets are still active because we will be gaining access to that room Onto just a little bit. Uh, let's uh, drink up on the little bit of the water. Is there gonna be a lot of zombies? Yeah, there is shotgun raid. Oh, mama mia. That is definitely a lot of zombies. Hello, Toxic Spirit. How you doing? Okay, hold up. We got a shotgun raid. Some of these other zombies so we can then go ahead and deal with uh, the one that we do want to deal with because that spewer is a threat to start spewing. And I don't want him spewing all over the place. Let's see. He might not spew anymore though. Let's go. Oh, he still got it off. He still got it off. And oh my God, he got it everywhere. Ew. That's okay. It should wear off in just a second. Our shotgun does only have one fell swoop left but that's all right there shouldn't be many more large rooms of zombies for us to go ahead and to take it down he did not drop something it's always good to check because these are kind of like bigger bossier zombies do have a chance at dropping big bones and uh we definitely want some big bones in our lives baby all right we got another room up in here uh we got the machete as our backup weapon and our hat on the brink of destruction things are getting serious we're putting on a big boy hat now and hello yeah that's a lot of zombies shotgun rain baby oh no 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 definitely want to heal up take these things out this doctor spinner did not suffer any damage that's okay that's okay that's okay a lot of them did suffer damage from the shotgun rain. It is because we had a weird angle with the doorway. Not all of them managed to come through. Hello, nothing over there. Okay, good, good, good. Let's activate this thing, and that will now complete the loop. 
back over here but we still got to go down this hallway over here no no we're getting stanky say it ain't so well that's a bit of a bummer all right that's all good though we got some pistol drizzle over here oh i probably could have had our shotgun ready to go or did we already use up our last fell super that thing no we used up the last fell super all right let's let's get to some melee attacks to finish the job shall we just gotta make sure again very careful with the heels do not want to die we would not be able to recover honestly not only would we miss out on the chest over here we would also lose this pump over here that is something I prefer not to do. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Maybe we got that room that I'm talking about. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to activate that terminal and run our boote over here. We got the big guns ready to go. A little bit of Kalashnikovs. A little Kalashnikov 47. AK Thunder. Let's activate the terminal. That will bring the wrath of the turrets uh, to the big one. And as that is happening, the turrets are friendly. They will not attack us, but they could serve as an incredible distraction. I'm going to let them start attacking the other turret. And then I will go in here and finish the job myself. There you go. He destroys that. He goes for the other one. And as soon as that thing starts shooting up, oh, baby, it's our time to shine. Eat AK Thunder, big one. Woo! And the turret lives. I don't think it matters if it lives or not, but it lives. And now we can see what's inside of here. Come on, baby. A little bit of good luck to make up for the bad luck that we've had. Let's go! You guys don't understand how huge this is. Like, I think we're going to do very well. I think once we open up a ton of those crane keys and sunken boxes, we're going to have those propellers that we need. You can't find propellers down in these boxes. But more importantly, dude, we need these pumps. And we need some runs. We've had a few runs where we got no pumps. We're going to need 10 pumps total to create what we want to create. And there's a good chance that we're, like, we're, we're well on track for it, dude. Oh, you have no idea how good of a sign that is, baby. Woo! You love to see it. All right, I'll just make sure that I did not, like, leave behind any loot in my uh, quest over here. Yeah, okay. I was going to say. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We do not want to be leaving behind that reputation. We didn't find any glass unfortunately but i you know taking it get down hard to go wrong with that just want to double back and make sure that we did not miss out on anything wish there was a way to get over there i do believe that's actually the sewer section from another area that you can ladder up to uh so potentially if you clear out this or if you do like this section of the sewer first and you're lucky enough to have that sewer version as well you might be able to actually have the lurker just dead and you can wander into there and get the stuff which is pretty cool because that is literally a room that you encounter in a different kind of version of the sewer that you can ladder up to but all right we got two of our pumps baby let's go i'm pumped i will pump you up i'm pumped right now no pun intended just kidding the pun is totally intended i'm pumped and i'm pumped for that stream on new year's y'all i'm so excited that we're gonna be able to kick off the new year together have the face cam on have the live chat on 6 p.m eastern time there's always when we are live and again with those twitch drops every 30 minutes watch the stream you have a chance of getting some free stuff including things from the store that otherwise cost money like the special forces pack including things that can no longer be gotten like old chopper skins from prior seasons and even you can get awesome decorations for your base like the mannequin to show off some of your favorite armor all absolutely incredible things then you got the possibility of getting coming your way but all right let's go and finish off with them swamp zombies there they will not protect to get anything we got two more rooms over here and then the final room that awaits us and these zombies up in here just this swamp of bloat there let's uh oh, i was gonna say let's wall trick them but i guess i could do that too hello hello swamp bloater there you go wall trick them a little bit why don't we go and uh actually might as well man we got this katana oh no he moved a little bit wall trick is not effective that's all right. It was working for a second. Let's go and see what's in this corner. I wouldn't mind finding some fiberglass down in these depths, too. I do believe it is possible to come across fiberglass. Unfortunately, I haven't had that fortune yet. But, hey, we're getting some more reputation via those terrain maps, which, again, will help us fuel and get more propellers from these sunken crates. Uh, and there's probably going to be a lot of zombies up in here. It sounds like there might be. If not, hello, hello. Okay, he's spitting everywhere. Luckily, they can't hit us through here. Why don't we go and finish up? There we go. He's a uh, wall trick in there. Let's just finish up this toxic spitter via the magic of the wall trick. I'm going to let him do his little attack over there. Oh, no. That did not work. Come on. Do your hit over there. And beautiful. We can just wall trick him like that. Boop. And take him down. Ah, I kind of messed up the timing over there a little bit. That's all good, though. That's the magic of the wall trick, by the way, y'all. If y'all don't have, like, a ton of guns to utilize or something, the wall trick should be your best friend. We just kind of, like, hide behind the wall. Boop. 
Let him get a hit off. Do something like that. And check it out. Minimal damage suffered, but maximum damage inflicted. You love to see it. And you also love to see, hopefully, y'all over there at that stream. So looking forward to seeing y'all over there. Again, we are live every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time, including on New Year's. Boop! We got some more terrain uh, coming our way. And it's going to be awesome, too, because sometimes we do do bonus streams as well. So, again, that's another reason to have that Twitch account created so you can be notified when we do go live. Because if you are following us, you should get a notification whenever we do go live with any kind of a stream. And, uh, yeah, that's just going to be incredibly handy for exactly that reason of which I spoke. And let's get this thing out to play. Oh, no. Why are there so... It's because I smell bad. It's because I smell bad, isn't it? Oh, I thought I might be able to sneak up on him. I was horrifically mistaken. Woo let's go and juke our way out of that and finish him. All right, he's done. He's done. It's taken care of in the final room. Awaits us. Will anyone... I hear, I hear things. I hear bad things. I heard a merman or some kind of a nasty zombie. Hello. All right, well, let's just go and whoop, finish him up via the magic of that. And uh, let's take down the swamp fella, the berserker. Bit of a tougher zombie. We're going to want to deal with them at range for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, look at that. 20 damage he's inflicting per hit. He attacks pretty quickly. Good thing we dodged that. Don't know how powerful of an attack that is. But I'm not trying to find out. And all right. Ladies and gentlemen, the final chest does await us. Please, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Honestly, bit of a bummer, but I can't even complain. We already got two pumps from this run alone, and I am pumped up because of that. Let's freaking go. We can go and pick up the rest of that stuff in the later time because the stuff in that military box will not despawn. We can't come back down to the sewers. That is not an issue. But now we got some deliveries. We're gonna go ahead and knock out lads and lassies and uh, hopefully a level up uh, coming soon to a video screen near you. Th this screen right now that I'm talking about. Yes, you, your screen. It should have some be beauty uh, coming its way shortly. And hopefully some beauty coming this way tomorrow too at that stream that I'm talking about. So looking forward to seeing y'all over there. Always love doing some stream shenanigans and continuing our season 13 shenanigans in its live version as well. And all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get things uh, nice and popping, baby. And that's going to come in many forms. Number one, we're going to plop that into that. I got to get some nuts. Luckily, I'm nuts for nuts. And we got some ready and rearing to go right over there. Boop. Uh, we got to grab that thing out of there. And grab one more, and we're good to go. That is going to be the three toolboxes that we need to knock out this version of the event. Actually, before I even start this, why don't we see... Mm, nah, I'll just do it anyway. I'm sorry. We, I'm already committed. We got 60 points and hopefully more coming our way. Let's send it, baby. What do you got? Ah, starvation. I got starvation. Not good. Let's finish. Let's wrap this up really quickly. Kind of forgot I need to eat. Okay. Didn't suffer any damage. I'm, I'm gonna, not, not, the crates didn't suffer damage. I mean, they were going to suffer damage anyway. Oh, I got to get some food. All right. Really quickly also, let's just see. I got room in my inventory because I believe Jake, we're 3% away. Bruh. Major bruh moment. And all right, let's get to crafting the other type of thing that we need. We will save these boxes for another day. Love to see the fact that we didn't get so many of them. That's definitely a welcome sight. Uh, we want these wooden boxes and we want those things right over there. And we got two of these deliveries to go out and knock out. We're going to be getting a lot for these deliveries too, may I add due to the fact that they are going to be such massive deliveries, man. Three boxes of deliveries of each. That is how we're going to be able to collect a lot. And I mean a lot of points because honestly, those boxes can... Like, you're seeing how many, how much the points are going up to. These are 50 reputation points coming our way. Speaking of points, we also got some battle pass points to go ahead and cash in as well. Let's not forget that. I believe we should have like 10 more prizes uh, coming our way. Woo! Whiskey! We got some of that. And that about wraps it up. Uh, for that, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Speaking of things that we got, Jakey boy, I believe you got something waiting for me. Ah, uh, thank you, my friend, and oh, our very next level, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna get our first ever manual earth drill. A device for extraction of titanium and other extra solid minerals that will be essential towards our quest to titanium, so you love to see the presence of that. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. We still got a few. Like, we might be able to get that today, actually, depending on how many reputation points we get now that, I mean, we're able to do really, really good deliveries now. And they're only going to continue getting better. I believe the level after this one, actually, we'll uh, be able to improve our deliveries uh, yet again. And gorgeous. I'll be collecting that. We also, and yeah, we still got the Santa deliveries to knock out as well. So there seriously might be another level in our future. Or we might be, like, a few points short. I feel like that happens a lot. We're, like, we're sometimes, we're like, a few percentage, uh, few percentage points too few. But beautiful. We knocked out the one decision that we are likely to have. We got four extra points from that. And bada-boom, bada-bang. 
we got the goodies. Now, when it comes to crafting up these Christmas boxes, right? We may have what we need, but not for a full delivery. You can see I only have seven hot drinks. I need at least nine to do one full delivery. Now, we're gonna go and pay a quick trip to the Christmas location. It should have respawned, and I would like to investigate and said respawn. Uh, we're gonna go on and continue putting away a few of these things that we are not in the most desperate need for at the moment. I'll go ahead and collect those things. We'll bring those back home as well. I just want to make sure I have some inventory room as well for what we are picking up. Uh, we got the weapons for the zone we're about to clear. All right, all right, all right. I reckon we're good to go. Because here's the thing. We've been knocking out the auto clears, right? And I auto cleared the zone. And for the sake of science, I actually want to see how this happens. I want to see is if we auto clear the zone first and then go to it, will the location still be there? Will we still be able to clear the zombies and gain some of the hot chocolate, uh, some of the chocolate locks, some of the eggnog, all them treats, the cupcakes, the ribbons, all that jazz. Will it be acquirable? Will it be attainable? I don't know. It's time for us to find out at the Icewind Valley. Oh, and cash in on, uh, let's, let's cash in on those rewards too, shall we? Because that number 10 has just been staring at me in my soul down at the bottom little task bar. Oh, it's the number 12 now. Never mind, baby. And that means we got a new backpack. Woohoo! We'll be going and putting that thing to you soon. We're collecting our Seaburn set of armor. We visited the location Icewind Valley for some extra points. We can cook some juicy steaks and make some thick fabrics. Definitely make sure that y'all are knocking out these daily tasks. They're usually pretty easy. And it is free points. And there's some really good stuff along the way. Like, for example, those 10 carbon composites that we just got. Including, I believe, on the free-to-play side of the battle pass. I like the free-to-play side seriously does have some goodies as well. So make sure that y'all are cashing in on those oh but uh oh me oh my let's go ahead and take all of that we got some branches we got that awesome backpack we'll go ahead and wear in just a bit another car battery coming our way can never have too many of those so maybe they'll be necessary once we get our motorboat too who knows who knows and uh love to see those carbon composites dude such a hard resource to get especially after they were nerfed and taken out of the police station but the battle passes tend to have like 10 of them coming your way so it's a pretty welcome sight in that regard and unfortunately it does appear that oh there are zombies well there's one i'm only seeing one though is there is that it why is there only one zombie and okay the storages are all cleared out and stuff so even though that zombie for whatever reason decided to live i wonder i don't know did i just like did it maybe did the zone not respawn because i like missed that one zombie before because why is there only one zombie just chilling? That's that is the only explanation I can think of. Is I, I don't think it's because of the auto clear if there's only one zombie that was chilling here. Regardless, unfortunately, that does mean that we do not have the required resources to do what we may want to do. Stop, what are you talking about? We don't have what we need to do our deliveries. But don't stress. Don't fret. We should have what we're looking for in about uh, three hours or so. So I'll go ahead and knock out those Christmas deliveries after that. I don't think we're going to have enough reputation for that manual earth drill. But by next episode, uh, we should. And then I wonder if we could... Auto like, I'm curious to see. Like, that drill looks kind of cool. I wonder if we might be able to utilize it as a weapon. You know, maybe drill some zombies. That sounds weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Manual earth drill some zombies. That'd be interesting. Hello, dead guy. How you doing? And, uh, I mean, we do got some weapons over here ready to go. I am a stanky boy, but so be it. Such is life. Is it dangerous to be walking around with the crane key? Yeah, such is life. Why don't we go and actually knock out, uh, some of these things, too? See if maybe the conveyor has something in store for us. We got a lot of holly and a lot of jolly. Uh, so maybe there'll be some candy canes. Uh, some of that in the Christmas box. Honestly, always a welcome sight that Christmas box is. I wouldn't mind some, like, chocolate looks and hot drinks and stuff. I'm not sure if these guys can drop that, though. I do believe it's primarily the ornaments and the other stuff that do get dropped uh, from here. But speaking of the ornaments and stuff, the fact that we are collecting so many of these, uh, whatchamacallit, lights and stuff, after we get 20 of each light, we will be able to go and get a new motorcycle skin at the gas station. We'll be sure to do that. And let's go. We got a big prize coming our way, baby. Woo! Let's freaking go. And we got a little bit of everything coming our way, too. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be taking all of that. And uh, I'll just go and uh, let's just, yeah, let's just get rid of the booze. No need for the booze on this cruise. Glug, 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 glug. Speaking of booze, let's go and shout out on that. And marvelous. 
I reckon getting one of those big boy presents is more than enough for me. Nick Sandy, anything new to say? Uh, I just need some rest, blah, blah, blah. We gotta find his letters. Speaking of which, I believe we are at four. There should be one that we gotta get at the dealer and then one at the Christmas location, actually. So we should be able to max those out. But we don't get anything cool until we find all three weeks worth of letters, unfortunately. But I'm looking forward to opening this thing with all the shards of that we do get. And also for the sake of it, send it. I get more pine logs. Yay. Thank you so much for your generosity, tree. You are truly the real MVP. The MV tree. <laughs> the MV tree. The M tree P. The M tree P. I like that. Sounds weird, but I like it. All right, all right, all right. Then why don't we go? We got plenty of armor that should be able to withstand the trials and tribulations. Oh, I forgot to put the wrenches away. Yeah, that, that's okay. That's okay. I'll just bring those back another day. Hello, hello, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and let Klaus do his yelling. Also, fun fact, the shelves do protect you from his yell, similar to uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, we can actually go and chill on the other side of these shelves, and we'll be good to go. And why don't we go, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's get Tano the bejesus out of him. We can kind of, like, in a sense, wall trick him, if you think about it. Hello! Yeah, as long as we're on the other side of that that we are not even we don't even got to worry about him getting us kind of a nifty little trick i wasn't aware that the shelves could protect you from his yells but look at that look at that they can Yeet! let's finish the bloater with a little bit of that magic i do want to bring him over here to one of these corners because then this is honestly the best way of handling things you can kind of like uh just get all cheeky cheeky behind this ledge over here okay our armor is starting to take a little bit of damage and speaking of taking damage uh, we're about to be taking a lot of damage from these fellas over here let's yeet and finish off some of these fast biters gorgeous 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 if our armor breaks i will get a we might need to go back to the ranged weapons i always come here with like such like bad badly shaped armor it's like so low durability it's really bad but yeah definitely make sure y'all are utilizing these shelves to your advantage and like this is seriously a very doable boss fight uh with all that taken into account oh wow his head's on a shelf Wow, I've heard about, I've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but never Head on a Shelf. That's a very, very metal. Very, very scary, I must say. And yay! Big hits to close, and he will have some more friends coming my way. I'll continue just trying to kite him around a little bit so we don't need to worry about getting yelled at. And oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, our weapons are broken. All right, let's finish it the old-fashioned way with some AK Thunder! All right, I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. Let's go, though. We got some more lights, which, again, is what these boss battles are good for. You get lights. I didn't know why I clicked that. You get lights. You get ornaments. You get shards. You get all the goodies that you might need relative to the theme of Christmas Eve. I, just, I had to say Christmas Eve just because it rhymed well. And you also get a ton of points. As you all can see, we just got ourselves another level, too. So, really... Especially with that shelf trick that you can do. It's no elf on a shelf, but it's a pretty nifty way to kind of like wall trick in a sense. Utilizing those things and you can honestly, it lets you get a ton of melee attacks in on Klaus. So if you come here with some solid armor, some band-aids, and honestly just some okay melee weapons, you'll be able to clear it out. No sweat, at least personally, I think. And let's go and send that. And we got some more iron ore coming our way. Not the present that I was hoping for, but the last. I'll roll with it. And also, I do not want to forget about something else that I really, really do want to go over today. As y'all do recall, just last episode, we did talk about this incredible thing. And boom! Notice the oil rig location, which actually gets unlocked after you build the motorboat and go to the watchtower to the north, something that we are constantly working our way towards. And then this oil rig location appears in the middle of the ocean, and at least at the time being, it only is attainable via helicopter, which we know not to be a vehicle quite yet. I broke this down quite a lot in the last episode. Make sure y'all check that out if you have not yet. But long story short, it is only attainable via helicopter, which does hint a lot towards the helicopter being built and the accessibility of the helicopter. But interestingly enough, I did want to bring up another angle, especially given what we know. And that comes in the form of the freaking submarine. Yeah, that, that little thing over here that's just like chilling underwater. Yeah, this thing brings a whole new angle to the game. Because if y'all do not know, there's a control panel here. Enter the code or start the recovery procedure in order to start the submersion process. Use the main terminal in the lab complex. Now, as of right now, the lab complex is not actually attainable, but it does appear that it is actually this door over here with all these freaking zombified tendrils leading out of it. I do still need to put in the final shovel to clear this thing out. But the laboratory actually is not accessible quite yet. But... When it does become accessible, 
it is likely to lead it towards that submarine. And then I also do want to go ahead and talk about something else as well, which comes in the form of that whatever is going to be going on in that laboratory is going to unlock a whole new level of stuff over here. As you can see, the laboratory. This place happened to be the leading research center. All sorts of things happening. Tests of new weapon and armor prototypes. Experiments with the infected. Hopefully they have nothing to do with the collapse. Anyway, we'll find it all out very soon. And we can see that there's get access to the laboratory right over there. Largely hinting towards the laboratory likely to be the next kind of like single player update that we do get. I don't want to say that it's going to be the next season necessarily because we might end up getting like a multiplayer season. We haven't had one of those in a little bit. But there's a good chance that it will be the next season or if not one of the next seasons and likely kind of a continue our progression. It's very cool to see that a lot of like the new content is going to be focusing around none other than uh, what you call none other those are the tendrils that i was talking about by the way the zombified things it does appear that a lot of things is going to be focusing on this new harbor location which is awesome to see that it's going to be a hub for a lot of activities moving forward obviously building the motorboat and doing the sewers is currently the big thing the laboratory appears to be the next one and whenever this laboratory does become openable and accessible again it does appear that this submarine will also become accessible and then how does that connect to the oil rig because the submarine could very well be a vehicle and kind of accessing this and activating this uh, could allow us to utilize the submarine to go over to that oil rig location and if not i mean the submarine is a vehicle that will be able to do some sort of shenanigans down in the depths of this body of water that we are in maybe we'll be able to dive to the depths and go like hunting amongst like shipwrecks and stuff because after all i do also want to point out another thing and that comes in the form of if you follow me over here the scuba mask slash scuba man slash scuba diver maybe we'll be able to use the submarine to actually recover things from the depths of shipwrecks and similarly to the crane crate over here maybe we'll be able to dig up like a, you know a hidden treasures down in the depths and maybe even exit from the submarine down in the depths of things we might need a bit of a better decked out suit here because he only has a snorkel right but nonetheless we can see kind of like hints towards things like that like the freaking flippers over here we can kind of see hints towards more water content as well so there's a lot of different angles to approach the submarine with and definitely something that i'd want to go over and i'd love to hear from you all in that comment section down below how do you think that the submarine will play into things i think one possibility is it could be how we access the oil rig another possibility could be that allows us to go into the depths of this giant lake slash body of water that we are in and potentially go freaking uh, scavenging amongst like some shipwrecks for some loot and stuff like that because submarines after all are meant to go underwater so i'm kind of leaning more towards like the underwater angle and there's gonna be something in the depths of this lake that we're gonna need to access via the submarine but first we do need to get the laboratory complex and whatnot as well to start that recovery procedure which likely will be coming in probably the next big season that we can't expect so i'm so freaking excited for that but then also on top of that let's not forget that there is this little boat over here that at least at the time being you can't exactly do anything with and potentially this boat could actually end up being how we access the uh what should we call oil rig because even though the oil rig says it needs the helicopter that could very well change down the line it is subject to change and last day very well could kind of like change the requirements and who knows maybe one of these two vehicles we're seeing over because i'm not gonna lie like being able to sail a giant cargo boat to an oil rig actually does make a lot of sense because i feel like that is normally how you would like offload the goods off of like an oil rig for example and maybe that's part of something that we'll be doing with all these crates and stuff and maybe we'll be able to help out our genesis friends here and give them huge oil shipments for whatever crazy contraptions we're gonna try to dig out of the laboratory there's like a lot of cool angles going on with this kind of like this right side of the harbor that currently does not serve a purpose yet but does have some major hints associated with it so potentially this will be how we can get to the oil rig and or the submarine and then the submarine could also allow us to do something in the depths of this body of water in the depths of this lake and dig up some goodies there and i'm not gonna lie to you i think like shipwrecks and stuff are seriously a major possibility could you imagine fighting underwater zombies or something like that dude i'm just saying that gonna be crazy and there's so much to be excited for with this update obviously i'm still so hyped to get the motorboat built and stuff like that but just the fact like the existence of the submarine here the existence of this boat both of these things just being here hinting towards something greater coming our way is insane and i feel like these next few seasons like i, I seriously think last day on earth has turned an entirely new leaf and that 
it, it, it's a game changer, man. I seriously think we are witnessing a game changer in front of our very eyes. And lastly, on Earth is seriously onto the path towards awesome updates. Because if you think about it, in the past year, uh, not counting like this update and the update before it, which was our introduction of the cargo delivery system, pretty much the last permanent update we had was literally over a year ago in the form of the ATV update. And before that, it was also quite a few updates since our last kind of permanent update as well. But now we are going to be back on the track towards more permanent content coming to last down earth which is honestly when the updates are at their best when we're constantly looking forward to new things to do that aren't just like time limited seasonal events but things that are like like i said permanent and i'm i don't know man i'm really excited for it and hopefully y'all are as well but with that said with that done let me know what y'all think of that comment section down below if y'all are hyped for this submarine and this cargo boat let me know in that comment section down below but i think everyone is excited for it and obviously by smashing that like button another great way to let me know about the hype but yeah i would love to hear what y'all think in that comment section down below how y'all think the submarine will be playing into it what y'all think about the oil rig and also the potential to be going underwater into the depths of the body of water and like i seriously like i don't know dude i'm i am excited i don't get me wrong i love and want to see what this cargo ship is all about but you gotta admit the submarine is definitely a little bit more on the interesting side but i don't know maybe i i don't know dude it's a submarine what can i say but with that said with that done that is gonna go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth thank you guys a whole ton of watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya